Today, the Oregon Department of Justice confirms to Queen Six it is reviewing a Portland police detective's use of force at protest. Thanks for joining us tonight for Queen Six News at Five. I'm Elizabeth Din. And I'm Dan Tilkin in for Jeff tonight. The review comes one day after the DA's office announced a grand jury indicted a different officer on one count of fourth degree assault for his actions during a riot. Our Liz Birch spent the day digging into these both these two cases and she joins us now live. Liz. Dan, I spoke to the police union president today. He says all of this is politically motivated. In the case of Bedworth, do you feel like there was excessive use of force? Not at all. Portland Police Association Executive Director Daryl Turner calls Officer Corey Budworth a scapegoat for a political agenda after a grand jury indicted him on one count of fourth degree assault for allegedly hitting a freelance journalist with a baton during a riot. According to that freelance journalist attorney, this Twitter video shows the moments Budworth pushed her to the ground, then struck her with a baton. The video they showed wasn't a full video, uh, and that's why we have all we have. I have always and will fight for body cams and advocate for body cams because if we were wearing body cameras, we might have had a better sense of what was going on that night. Do you expect or are you concerned there could be more indictments like this now that this one has happened? Right now, uh, nobody knows what to expect. I will tell you that uh, there was a belief uh, amongst us that uh, this would not be indicted. There was a belief amongst us that even though we believe the DA's office had a had a thirst to indict a police officer, that it wouldn't happen unless it was justified. The mayor said on the indictment in part, quote, I take this matter very seriously. As mayor, I hold Portland Police Bureau members to a very high standard of professional conduct, end quote. Just one day later, a spokesman with the Multnomah County District Attorney's Office confirmed to COIN they asked the DOJ to look into the actions of Detective Eric Kammerer. Last month, homeowner Elijah Warren filed a lawsuit against the detective after he says he was mistaken for a rioter and was beaten outside his home in southeast Portland. I reached out to the mayor's office about this investigation, but they chose not to comment. And I also reached out to the police bureau. They also chose not to comment, both saying this is an ongoing investigation. Back to you.